Hello, hello, and welcome to Lord Lucan. Uh, it is a very special uh, episode uh, today. There is no secrets, of course. I'm sure you've seen the uh, the picture. That's why you clicked here. That's where you've arrived. Uh, we do indeed have uh, a certain somebody here with us this evening uh, to be joining us. Uh, so I'm not going to mess about. Uh, I'd like to introduce you, of course, to uh, potentially the big bad wolf of life after lockup. Uh, he floats like a butterfly and sounds like a flavour of slushy. It is, of course, the wonderful Mr. Mocha Blast. Thank you. How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, feeling great, bro. It's an honour to be on your show. Um, after seeing you roast me, I loved it. You know, um, I, like, I like the fact that you went for the jugular and you don't hold punches. That shit is dope. I appreciate that. Well, I appreciate your uh, I appreciate your taking it so well. I appreciate you taking it so well. I, uh, I I did drop a diss track on Mr. Mills, um, and he said to me, "You know, game on." Uh, but there was no never any game, uh, and I was slightly disappointed. Uh, but you say you do. You seem to like the game. In fact, I've noticed that you're you're quite happy to uh, to get into a bit of uh, an argument, whether it's an Instagram, whatever it is. So, uh, so tell me about that. What's what's your thinking with uh, with feeding the trolls? you know a lot of people and this is from me to you a lot of folks have jumped into my dms and said yo i hate you i hope you die all types of stuff and usually i would never respond but this time i said you know what let me give them a little taste of what they just dish back to me mm -hmm. and when i give it they can't take it so i have to tell them listen if you're going to talk reckless expect reckless results and that's the whole thing like I don't mind people talking, talking, you know, crazy to me. It's online. It's supposed to be a place called social media where you have fun. Nothing about social media I'm going to take personal. No matter what anybody says, I could meet that person and sit down and literally have lunch or dinner with them. So it's just me just trolling back and a lot of folks can't handle the trolling. And you, you know that saying where it says, if you can't stand the heat, don't get in the kitchen. And, and, and that's what it is. Like, Instagram is a platform that people hide behind their phone or their computer. So they they bring it my way, but I I've, I've been the bad guy. No matter what I do, I'll always be the bad guy. So it's time for the bad guys to finally, you know, just say, "All right, screw it. Let me show you how it feels." And when you give it back, get a lot of, "Oh, you feel you, you're nobody. Nobody knows about you. You're only known cuz of the show." And I'm like, mm, if, "If you say so, but my whole thing show is cool you know but i i never i didn't want to go on the show that's that's the whole thing i like my life very private very low-key i'm i'm raising a daughter um she's turning 18 she's graduating high school she's graduating college at the same time you know next month is a graduation so my whole thing was not to let anybody know of any of my successes because when people see that you're up the first thing they want to do is pull you down and that's just being a black man and the, the community and the society that I'm in. You know, I grew up in the hood and everything, so I've changed. But when it comes to the big bad wolf, I don't mind it. I don't care what people say. You know, the same thing they say online, I want them to say it to my face. Do you, think, be a do, you whole think that's, uh, do you think that's exclusive? You, you say, you know, it's, it's my role as a black man. Do you think it's exclusive to, to the black community? It's a great question. And the reason why I won't be able to answer for any other race or community is because that's all I know. Like I was great friends with a rapper called Chinks, Chinks Drugs. He was part of um, French Montana's Coke Boy group, and Chinks was on his way up, and he got killed out of jealousy. Nothing else. Stack bundles from Queens, you know, from Queens. So I look at what happened in the Queens music scene, and it always seems like when a rapper's on their way up, somebody wants to take them out. No matter what type of notoriety you have, prime example. One of my favorites, somebody who I look up to, 50 Cent. He's one of the biggest rappers ever, but we negate the fact that he was shot nine times and he barely survived. You know, if 50 didn't make it, we would have never had G-Unit. You know, um, it's just a, a whole lot of a whole lot of stuff. So there's a, there's you really got to look at that, though, isn't there? That actually that was put out by Mike Tyson. And then Mike Tyson went on to go and buy his house afterwards. You heard that theory? <laughs> Nah, I never heard that theory. It's, it's See, I grew, I grew up. With, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to jump down that rabbit hole. 
check it out, you know. <laughs> so, so you, you know, uh, we're going to get onto the topics of, of Juju. We're going to talk about Mr. Mills. Uh, we can talk about cars and all these sorts of things. Um, but uh, you, you say uh, just I'm going to linger on you just a little bit longer. So you say that, you know you can't walk into hairdressers because people recognize you and they throw shade at you. In fact, they throw the whole fucking tree at you. So, 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 how does it look? What, what, what? So, you going down with your belly on? How does, how does, how does a mocha look when he's he's out? Have you seen me now? I wear the do rag, the scully, my hoodie. I put everything on now. Um, I'm, a, I'm, a, um, start wearing sunglasses because to me is it's so it's crazy. Like people be looking at me, like I'm eating food at a restaurant. I'm like, yo, what if? What if this woman is Team Juju? She might spit in my food. You know what? I'm having somebody go order my food. <laughs> There's a it's lot serious, of those. Bro. There it's, is a lot of those. Team Juju is a, is a building, uh, a building. Uh, sure. I don't know, a fraternity. Oh, she has- uh, she's got like um, at least what seventy five percent more followers than the Mills does. In fact, up until just a couple of days ago, she was trending higher on Google search results. Than than, uh, than Montana Mills has uh, for a certain time, right. so you know she's she's you know she she punches well above her weight uh, on that one, but uh, yeah, she's, yeah. She's, a heavy hitter. she's a heavy hitter. So what so what is it that she's most people say to you then? Like you know, I hear a lot of things. You know, I've seen some of the stuff pop up there. Some people say that you're a gay man. Some people say that you're, I don't know. What what is it? What is it? People people throw at you the most. Um. They they talk about oh I, I I must love him and I want to be with him and I find that humorous because if they're going to say I'm gay, I just want the LGBT community to stand behind me. You know, it's kind of crazy if you can't assassinate a man's character, you go after his sexuality. Mm-hmm. And what else? What else is there going to be? You know, so when you say I'm gay, I've I've never been gay. Um, I don't plan on turning gay. N- none of that. None of that. The good thing about it is, I love that. What else could you say? Oh, they, oh, his hair is, his hair. He got this shirt on. He's a bootleg looking version of Neo. Everything is still in great taste. Like they say stuff, and I just say, "Wow, okay, that's pretty cool. I like it." It got to be more original, like how you went in. Now that that was crazy. Like I said, "Wow, this guy, he." I said he didn't even go under the belt. He tried to chop me at my knees, oh, and the whole thing. I shared it on my Facebook. I have I have close to five thousand followers on Facebook. Um, I shared it to the people in my subscription group on Instagram, and everybody loved it. It was like, yo, he he went deep, and that's the reason why I reached out to you because you actually took your time to do homework, and a lot of the stuff was um you know from your point of view. It's always going to be biased. Oh, and that's why I loved it because regardless of what you said, you just gave a whole nother audience demographic uh, an inside look to who I am. Like Del Birch graduated from Buffalo State College. You know what I'm saying? Like little I'll send, stuff I'll like send you that. my invoice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but while, while we're on the topic, you know, like, you know, like you say, you talked about the, the LGBTQ plus plus plus. That always seems to me like you probably set up the the thing for that because you've got like a company. What is it? Uh, I've got to read this one. F G C M G, and then you've got F G C. So I'm like, if somebody's writing the marketing for the gay community, it's probably you. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna call it L B C. Yeah, like you just pull out a bunch of letters from Scrabble and gone. Yeah, yeah. That'll do. That's uh, that's that's what it is. That's the name. Yeah, done. No, what F G C started as Fly Guy Fly Girl Committee, right? But I noticed that everybody kept saying fly guy committee. So went on tour and you talked about that tour too. And the reason why I want to bring that tour up when you said, oh, he went, to, he had a show in England and it's only 10 pounds. 10 pounds is a starting price. We always, we always try to keep it as cheap as possible. So people can be like, oh, I'm a, I'm a buy-in. But the reason we didn't, that didn't happen, an artist I was dealing with had got arrested. And the person who put that tour together, she's my, like my best friend. She died of cancer. I literally had to cancel that tour. So, you know what I'm saying? When you said that, I was like, yeah, it's cool because I never got to perform. And that was one of like my many regrets. Her name is Trish, Patricia Lindley. And she set the tour up and everything. And I literally, and it's good that you said that, I literally faced a lot of backlash for canceling that tour. Like promoters hated me. 
And I was like, damn, I'm just always the bad guy. Like, they don't care at all. But the promoters in Scotland, Ireland, they, they was like, bro, we booked everything for you and you didn't show up. And I just, I didn't want to tell them, you know, but um, I'm going to get back to the FGC. The, it's it Fly Girl, Fly Guy Committee. Then I said, I really need to change it up. I need to have something that's going to stand up and, like, compete. Like, you know how Old Navy, Gap, Banana Republic? And that's how I wanted to build my company. FGC is my is my is is the Gap, and my Banana Republic is the FGC Feather Getting Cash. And I added the MG, you know, media group because of um, Rick Ross. Like, you know, he says uh, Maybach Music Group. So I just wanted to make it a media group. So that's all it is. It's me keeping the same companies as I as I leveled up in life, that's all it is. Mm-hmm. So we, uh, so I mentioned like briefly, you know, you got problems going into barbershops. So you, so so what is it? You you're a franchise holder, or you own a franchise of something else? How, how does that work? Tell tell me a bit more about uh, Too Handsome. Okay, so the Too Handsome barbershop is a barbershop that I came up with and I built it out. It has a, a beautiful shower, televisions in the floor, and um, again tragedy so the day i'm building it out and wrapping the walls is the day i got the phone call that my father just passed from throat cancer so after that i was supposed to franchise them and my dad god bless his soul had passed january 10th 2021 so while i'm about to announce that i'm about to franchise my dad passes and i told him give me like a year to a year and a half and then i'll revisit it because it's my dad's nickname my dad is of venezuelan descent so they used to call him guapo so i couldn't call it too guapo because, you know, Vegas is more of a, a town that really doesn't have, like, it has a Spanish population, a Latin population, but it's not really driven towards Spanish-speaking. So instead of calling it Too Guapo, I just called it Too Handsome. So um, later this year, I'm going to look up different properties and start franchising it. But I had the paperwork, everything, and because um, of COVID and the death of my father, I, I shut everything down. But the barbershop is finally open again. That's why I've been going there and cleaning it up and, you know, I got some barbers in there. But I will be franchising it and I actually want to do a too handsome London. So I'll be coming out to London as well. <laughs> You'll have to let me know while, uh, you know, grace you with my presence or okay. something like that. You that know? mustache. I got I to gotta clean up the Monopoly mustache. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I prefer Colonel Saunders. He used to be uh, been a nickname of mine years ago. He used to call me, uh, uh, yeah, my name is Saunders. Chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so have you have you sorted out the um, the license with that? I see it was revoked. Was it revoked? Come on now, no, no, chance no, to clear was... your name, Mister Mocker. What what happened with that? Oh, um, it was during COVID. I let everything slip. After my dad died, I let everything slip. I shut it down for a year. So you have to um, every six months you have to have a license. You have to. And I just told them I'm gonna take the year off. My dad passed in January. Just reopened it back this January. I just wanted to pay homage to my old man. You know, it was a hard, it was a hard death because, you know, as a son, when when you feel like you failed your your father, it, I don't know. It just it took a toll on me. So it took me a while, and you know, the bad guy persona. You know, sometimes you know, man versus man, man versus himself, man versus God, man versus Mother Nature. I dug deep with that man versus himself, and it was um went into a very dark place and I just said, you know what, man, I don't care. Moving forward, I'm just going to just, a lot of people like to sugarcoat shit. They never give you the direct. So when you, when you did your, when you did your take on me, I loved it because it was direct. It's how you viewed the world on me. And I was like, oh shit, that's pretty dope. You know, when you put it out, I, I look like a total fraud and I actually liked it. I was like, oh shit. All right. No, I'm not going to clean anything up. <laughs> I just like the <laughs> fact that you, <laughs> yeah, I just I, like the I, fact I don't that you expect you to clear out. anything up. No, no, no. Because I, I, I think you know. Because uh, a lot of people, you know, like I'm, I'm obviously I can see the chat uh, going past here. Uh, hello to everybody in the chat, by the way. Uh, I can see you going past, uh, but uh, do excuse me if I'm not as interactive as normal. Uh, but um, you know, so so what if someone's to say that? Hey, look, do you know what? It's been time now. Pull your socks up. Okay, so that's kind of part one of the question. Part two of the question is. So why did you feel like a failure? What was it that you kind of thought, oh, do you know what, I've, I've, I've not made it. I've not done what I'm supposed to do. What was it that prompted uh, you thinking right. that? Okay, so this, this ties in like the relationship with me and Mills. Before I met Mills, I was in and out of prison a lot, just for dumb shit. You know, I've only been to prison twice, but I've been arrested a lot. And every time I'll get arrested, I will literally get like, 
good grace of God and um, the judge or somebody will say, look, we're not going to put you to do 365 plus a day. We'll put you in a program instead. You got to cut your hair and we'll give you, you know, to a halfway house. So in my mind, just waking up and not being in the ICU or not being in, you know what I'm saying, in, in jail, jail was a W. So kept messing up. And then eventually I went off to college. I met my the mother of my daughter and we were great up until you know i asked for a divorce i got married to her and we got we got divorced and she kept my daughter away from me and my dad never got to to meet my daughter because i literally had to go to court and fight for her uh six years and in order to get visitation it had to be supervised because the courts deemed me like a predicate felon like i was violent that made me change my whole persona because growing up in Southside Jamaica, Queens, I'll be honest with you, it's like really the jungle. Kill or be killed. And I used to be small and I used to get beat up and I had to start putting on muscle and I started beating the people who beat me up. So after a while, I noticed that, damn, my dad never met my daughter. And by the time I finally got my daughter, dad started getting sick. And I had to pick and choose. Do I take my daughter to go meet him in Canada? And he's frail looking. And I was like, nah, I'm not going to do that. So it was like after my dad passed, I literally sat down. I, I cried because I wasn't crying for the fact that I lost him. I know he had to go. I was crying for the fact that my daughter always said, Dad, why well, I never met Grandpa? And I had to look at my life and say, damn, bro, you looked out for so many folks. You did stuff for so many people. But when it came to you, that connection, knowing that the guy who who was part of the birthing process of me, and I carried on the gene. Like people say, I look. My daughter looks just like me. My daughter looks just like my father. You know what I'm saying? And is that just, uh, let, let, me, let me jump in there. So uh, obviously, it's, it's your daughter, it's your family. You know, I understand if they're all good. Is your daughter also Little Dipper? That's that's. That's my little dip dip. <laughs> and so and so what and so while while we've arrived on the little thing. So what we're arrived on that so you got the little dipper foundation. So yeah. that that's then about what rehabilitated uh, prisoners. I I can't feel a lot, yeah. I can't see a lot I sort of going on with that. So so what's what's happening with that? You've got success stories, I mean, what kind of you know that's you know I'm a man who likes receipts. I like I like checks, balances and receipts. So, so nothing, tell, tell, nothing, me, tell me about it. Nothing have um, happened because by the time I finally got it, um, by 2020, I finally got the paperwork and I got approved. And I was working to try to get into the prison system. The, the month I got it, two weeks later, COVID happened and they shut everything down. And in America, they have never said, OK, COVID is over. Nobody has ever said that. So the foundation right now, um, I can't go into the prison systems. I have a couple barbers that's ready to teach inmates how to cut hair. If you have a year to two years left in your sentence, that's what we care about. We we don't want you to come home and do the stuff that I did. When I came home, I went right back in the streets. I'd rather you come home and have a trade because it seems like a trade is much cheaper, but we always need plumbers. We always need mechanics. We always need any, like, uh, what you call it again, electrician. That's a trade. You don't you don't say to yourself, well, I'm going to go to college for eight years to become a master electrician. You said, no, I'm going to go to school. I'm going to learn a trade and then I'm going to make it happen. So when it came to the Little Dipper Foundation, um, I started getting a lot of, you know, funding because I wanted to show these guys in prison. Look, you know, nobody cares about you. So what did you do with the funding? I care. The funding, I gave it back. I, I never took any of the money. I, never. I don't I don't touch people's money. You know what I'm saying? Money doesn't money doesn't move me. I can make money easily. I just choose to I always want to do better. I I had a shitty life. Because I had a shitty life, I don't think other young brown, white, whoever, Indian, name it. I don't think he should go through that because nobody cares. And that's the sad part about it. So what would you say then that a struggle is just uh, a part of, of human life, uh, uh, you know. Let's say, uh, you know, everybody's everybody's had struggles. Everybody, everybody, um, everybody's got a story that kind of like will break your heart one way or another. You know, I think that's why the phrase comes up. You know, everybody's got a book inside of them. So, what would you say to what would you say to that? 
No, you're you're a thousand percent right. And you know what it is? Some people, like I've had it bad, but there's some people who've had it ridiculously worse than me. So when somebody starts telling me their story, I always sit down and I listen. And I wait until they finish to start asking questions because sometimes I'll be like, wow, here I am bitching about growing up poor in Trinidad, mom not having anything, and she gave me an opportunity, you know. And then this person is talking about, well, they were trafficked or they got abused by their parents. And I'm just like, yo, what's really going on? So when it comes to the book and me, I'm actually working on like a four or five part series called Becoming Mocha Blast. I put part one out and um, I'm going to redo everything because now there's more depth to what I, the direction I really want to go in. And also, if you, exactly what you said, everybody have a book in them. Everybody. Mm. So, uh, let's say then, um, you and reality TV shows. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on to somewhere. I've got to segue to the next part in just a second. We're going to talk about uh, a few other things in a second. But, so... You and reality TV shows. If you have your own uh, your own reality TV show, let's let's put that there, out there as a hypothetical. Whether you do or don't, that's that's for you to say. Uh, what is the story arc? We've got to get from a point A to a point B. You know, a lot of a lot of what we see in Life After Lockup uh, and all these sorts of stuff, we kind of see. All right, well, you see, they the, they come out of jail, they probably get married, they probably had a child because it might get them twenty k extra or 25k extra and then where where do they go from that point so so my, my yeah. question to you is what would your story arc be you know you're you know you represent yourself i see on the your instagram you say yeah uh ladies love mocha but the heart is broken so uh that's a bit victimy isn't it would you what, what would you say to that oh no it's not victimy the reason why i put that out there i don't plan on like you know like a lot of people want to get married and have that kosher type life that's not me i don't want to get married uh, you know i put the hardest broken just to let women know hey that's my red flag that's my advertisement if you see a man telling you he's broken stay far away from him you know so this way they know like okay his heart is maybe i could fix it hey maybe i could f-. they'll slide in the dm and I'll, I'll tell them slide right out you can't fix me i'm broken i'm shattered don't even waste your time trying to fix me you know what I'm saying? So it's not it's not a victim. It's me more putting it out there like I looked up to LL Cool J. You know what I'm saying? He's from my same yeah. neighborhood. He's of from North. Of course, LL is like his love. Yeah. So I met him because his sister introduced me to him. He he always heard about me. And I went out to Queens Day where he was at. And he literally sat and talked to me for a good 10 minutes. He said, I love what you're doing. And I told him, I said, bro, ever since I was a kid and a fan. And I said, I'm going to be using your tag because I just love what you represent for Queens and what you do for the community. So I want to, you know what I'm saying? Is it okay if you could pass the torch? And he said, yeah, ladies love mocha. I love it. And along the way I added the heart is broken because I got heartbroken in 2014. So it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's not to be a victim because I'm not a victim of anything. Every day that I wake up and, you know, all glory to my goddess, there's lungs. I mean, air my lungs. And I could breathe and I could talk and I could have, you know, a verbatim, a conversation between us back and forth. Bro, I could never be a victim ever. Mm. So, I mean, you see how dope that is that you you brought it up like that. And that's what I like because I'm so tunnel vision. I only see it from my perspective. But you just gave me a whole different perspective. So, yeah, I appreciate that. Mm. And that's why I don't mind you roasting me because at the end of the day, it makes me. In some people's wallets, there's just one card and it says victim on it. You know what I mean? And and sometimes I think if if uh, if you don't mind me saying, just as an observation here, that that you have, you know, when things have gone wrong, there's there's always a story kind of behind it. When it's always a story that's uh, that's very much to do with some sort of disappointment or sadness. So you know, maybe that circumstance, maybe that's that's just the way it is. But 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna interject a little bit. We're gonna segue very neatly to the yes, next sir. set of questions. Next set of questions. So oh. what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a game with you uh, in order to get to those next set of questions. And don't worry, it's a segue. It all makes sense, okay? Uh, now, I would have a jingle, an amazing uh, a bit of sound here in order to, to take you there. Uh, but uh, what I'm going to do is if this, uh, this game is called Kick the Lyric, okay? So I'm going to give you a lyric, and you've got to finish that lyric, okay? 
So, uh, right. so for example, if I was to say uh, in West Philadelphia, born and raised, you would say on the playground. Fresh Prince. I, I'm not a fan of Will are. Smith anymore. Okay, so. good, good. No, that's fine. It, just the Fresh Prince of Bel Air is fine. You don't have to be a Will Smith fan. Okay, so okay. I've, got, I've got a couple here for you. Are you ready? Go. So, uh, my name is Slim Shady. Uh, no, Prince, and I am funky. Uh, let's. Let... <laughs> my name is. My name is. Yeah. My name is. I'm shady. <laughs> yeah, not quite, not quite. Okay, let's try this one. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch the snitch and tag his toe. That sounds, that sounds kind of violent. It sounds more like, what's his name? Um, The guy from the West Coast, Easy e or something. I don't know. I've never heard of that. Uh, it finishes, if you hollers, let him go. That's from Sells Drugs by Montana Mills. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. My name is Prince. No, Slim Shady. I mean, come on, come on, man. Hey, what's, wait, I thought you were into hip hop. All right, let me, all right, let me stop messing around. No, I'm, I'm, I'm BSing with you. Let's go. Right. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I'm just trolling back. I'm yeah. having fun. Let's go. All let's right, go. Right. Let's go. Grab some pizza. Um. Can't wait to meet you. Girl name is Denisha. <laughs> no. On, on Sunday on like Sunday. it's Easter. The song <laughs> Denisha by Mocha Blast. <laughs> you, you remember your own song, right? I mean that's that's you remember that, right? I mean, is it really me? Is 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 this guy really Mocha Blast? Well, well you know, we'll be, we'll be talking about we'll be talking about ghostwriters in a minute. Uh, but, uh, but tell me about that. You, what, you have Easter, you have pizza or Easter. Is is that is that the thing? Like the Easter bunny is no. like sponsored by Domino's these days. Like, what, what? no, the only reason the only reason I did it is because it rhymed. Um, I did have pizza this Easter that just passed. You know what I'm saying? And I laughed at it, but I never did before. It was my first time ever having pizza and Easter. I just it, it's nothing else that would have rhymed. So I had to write that those lyrics in. And the good thing about it, the track blew up on TikTok. You know, I got like over a hundred million or it's some some crazy amount of views. I think it's a hundred million plays or one billion plus plays on it. So I said, okay, um, if they don't care, I don't care. And that's some, that's what you gotta do as an artist. Like you'll rap and you'll be like, uh, oh, this this is not gonna fly, but it's the only thing that kind of makes sense, and you just let it go. And <laughs> the girl, Isha, she hated. She hated that lyric. She's in the video, but it is terrible. She told me she said it, it is. A, that's that's yeah. an awful lyric, man. I mean, she, she hated it. And I said, "Look, who helped me with a line?" And she couldn't. I said, "Okay, so we're going to keep it in there." But on the remix, I took it out. On the remix, I literally took it out when I did the remix to it because I was like, "Oh, hopefully nobody else pays attention," and nobody did. <laughs> Horrible line, but it flew. Yeah, that it, it is a wee bit on the cringe of me, uh, but we'll we'll let it we'll let it go. We'll let it go. Okay, two more. Last last right. couple. My name is Let's go. Slim Shady. No, it's Gucci Mane and I'm addicted to everything. Terrible. You, come on now, you're you're the hip hop guy. One last one. Hydrochlorides and acid. Bacon soda. Richer than richer than rich. Got it. Ah! Uh, bacon soda, it reacts. That's another yeah, song, yeah. I believe, by you, isn't it, Mocha? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you want to tell me about that? Uh... Yeah, I could, I could break it down. Um, I grew up in the. I migrated from Trinidad in '91. Uh, I grew up in Brooklyn, on Heights riots. It was so dangerous that my mom said, okay, we're gonna to go to an even more dangerous city in South Jamaica, Queens. And I grew up with like my mentor, um, his name is Menacho, and this guy is a three-time felon. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy, but I mean, he we all changed his life. And in order to, to help support me, by 16, I was in prison. So when I got out of prison, my mom kicked me out the house, rightfully so. She was trying to deport me back to Trinidad. She was like, can't help you. So Menacho was making money at the time, and. I had to learn how to be in the kitchen twice a day. And, um, you know, not proud of it. It's a real shitty way to go, but 
I just, that's why I said, you know, grew up in the, in the crack era. <laughs> I'm telling you about my life from there. And when it came to like my criminal record, I, I paid a lot of money to get all that shit. I mean, it's still out there, but a lot of it got expunged. So whatever is out there, I'm cool with it. <laughs> so then, okay, on to, we're on to Montana Mills now, young sir. On to the Montana Mills. I know this is what some people are here for. I think there's there's two That's particular good. things that I think a lot of people are, are, are probably tuned in to see. They want to hear you talk about Montana Mills, and I want to hear you talk about Juju. Um, so let's uh, let's hit that one. So first of all, uh, I, I need a I need a sense here. Um, so how did you come across him? Uh, what attracted you to Montana Mills? What, what t- tell us about that? Um, I was dating a girl in Rhode Island, and um, her daughter, daughter's boyfriend was a DJ, and he kept saying, "Your moat." this dude out here he's fire i gotta connect you with him and i was like all right you know like you know me i'm all right and it it took a while because i mean i knew who mills was but when people say oh i gotta connect you this person's really doing it i was like whatever until no matter where i went whether if it was the bronx connecticut island or mass i just started seeing his stickers everywhere so uh, it was a campaign called Believe in Mills. And I was just like, yo, this kid is he's really about that life. So I gave it, I let another like year pass. And I said, all right, let me meet him. And I went over to his house, met his um his parents. And I met Mills and we had a conversation. And I was like, all right, bro, let me know what I could do. And he told me and I was like, all right, let's, let's get to work. It was a, it was a great symbiotic, you know, situationship. Because he's the rapper. And even though I rap, I don't rap to be a rapper. I rap because it's fun to me. I have the, the extra bread. And then he said, look, Mo, this is what I really want to do. And I said, I got you. That's what it was. It was um a, a great partnership. You know, two men respecting each other. And I, I really appreciated who he was as an individual. Because he really was about his family. He was really about taking care of everybody in the clique. And we just built an inseparable bond. It was one of those, hey, hey, Mo, where you at? Same. Mm. So he'll be like, Mo, where you at? And I'm like, yo, I'm on my way. Hey, we get, we we going to King of Diamonds. Oh, we got to do this show. And I'm like, all right, I got you. And when I was coming up in the music game, I never had that plus one to always be there for me. So I know how imperative it is to just have that person that always have your back. And that's what... I didn't have so I said you know I'm what gonna, I'm older. I'm gonna jump in. I'm gonna jump in just a, a wee touch there. I think uh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna drag oh. you back. Drag you back. Yeah, the... Jump, jump, jump. Yeah. No. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Maybe. Uh... <laughs> well, you never know. Maybe he's been assassinated on the channel. Like that could be an interesting one, couldn't it? Uh, you never know. Just we were. <laughs> Just when we were getting to the to the good stuff, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for just a second. Let me see what I can do here. Get uh, get that fella back. But uh, <laughs> yeah, could you imagine that? Yeah, yeah. What if that was? Uh, uh, so now we refer to ourselves in the third person. Hang on a second. Yes, there we go. Mug just cost up a furball. Uh, how are we all doing over there? Thank you very much for uh, for joining. Does not way I'm not reading the, uh, the 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 chat quite as uh, quite as much as I would do, but uh, but yeah, I think we're um, yeah, it, it's uh, yeah. Well, that's uh, that's a bit of my fun. I'm just when it was getting interesting, just when I was getting to the uh, getting to the, the 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 best part of the subject. But you know, second fake attack. He got scared. You reckon? I don't know, it could be, uh, it could be, you never know, I think uh, you might have something. Did someone say pizza? <laughs> yeah, on Sunday, like it's Easter, apparently. Um, yeah. Still. Well, what do we do? I mean, uh, I suppose you just hold on for a second, don't you, really? Um, we need the real you, Lord. Uh, what do you feel? We feel I'm not being genuine. Like, what is it you expect from me? I've I've seen your I've seen your comments popping up. Uh, what's this, Monic? 
Uh, yeah, what, what does he want me to do? You want me to fucking slap the slap, slap, fucking go for him? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm having a pleasant conversation with a with a man, and we're we're getting it. Uh, he literally went, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. Um, that's that's disappointing. Um, still, uh, someone approached. You could see them. In the, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, there was a. Um, yeah, there was a, there was certainly a uh, a thing. Poof, he's gone. I know, I know. Doesn't have enough wine for this guy. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, do you know I was I was having fun there. I had so much planned. Um. Uh, there's no way. Let, let me just. Uh, I'm just gonna see if I can. Uh, let me just send him a message. Uh, over here. Let me just. Uh, let me just see if he replied to that. It was a wild interview in front of tragedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just getting somewhere. Uh, this come home with a good story of why he's disconnected. Wow, yeah, it's pretty. Someone died or something. You know, that's probably what it is. There, there was some uh, some terrible story that was um, that that made me get our uh, things up. Uh, maybe you could ask the questions and we answer them. There we go. Yeah, you guys could be you guys could be mocker. Uh, that could be uh, that could be an interesting one. It's, uh, yeah, well, there you go. There you go, really. Yep, another death. Well, yeah. Who knows? But the thing is, would you, if, if you were being attacked, you certainly wouldn't go, oh, hang on a second. Let me just put my laptop down before I, before I disappear. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. He's. Uh, I think he's now. I think he's now disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Maybe. Maybe because I. I mentioned. Uh, maybe because I mentioned it. Uh, yeah. Who knows? Well, it's. Uh, it's a shame. Oh God, you can see that. Let me. Uh, let me take that off. Well, look, there's a. There's a picture of him. We can. Uh, we can ask him questions. Uh, using his neighbor's Wi-Fi. Well, you never know. Yeah, yeah. Although we've got a couple more viewers than we did a minute ago. Uh, he thought he was going to get clout out of the channel. I d well, I'd, 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 I doubt it. I mean, really, we're uh, we're a little, perfectly little, self-sustaining community. Uh, I'm here. Uh, we were buying his BS. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like like we did mockers trainers. Term it. Mike ain't fire. No. I'm sorry that I missed it. Oh, no worries, uh, Lady Heather. Um, didn't look good. Someone walked up on me and it got off. What the fuck happened? I know, that was uh, that was pretty... Um, that was pretty crazy. Um, it does, doesn't it? Just when I was getting to the good questions. You know what I mean? I was trying to kind of uh, pace it out, make it uh, make it thing. But, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's, gone and, uh, he's gone and done one. Yeah, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's a fan of the show. I couldn't have predicted he'd do that. No, me neither. No, no, he's broke. Uh, he can play the race card, the victim card. Nothing works for him, so he runs out. That's that's an interesting, yeah, interesting. See, uh, does Kimbo get first? <laughs> I think my dad just did. Oh yeah, yeah. Kimbo, uh, Kimbo uh, suffers terribly uh, from that sort of thing. It's all part of the con. Do you reckon? Do you reckon? It's uh, yeah. The kaiju came to town. Um. Creepy. I'll text him and ask if he's okay. Yeah, if you've uh, if you've got him uh, there, Shakira. I've, I've got his number actually. We could call him, couldn't we? Should we call him? Uh, I knew he was going to do that. The only showed up to make it look like if he didn't. Yeah, sure. Uh, the family you don't want people to know about because <laughs> that didn't look good. Regardless of what anyone says, that wasn't normal. That was a little bit weird. But I did think the the, the closing of the laptop. That's, you know, also a little bit strange. If someone was attacking me, fuck me, I'd want my laptop up. I want me people calling the fucking pigs. Uh, or calling, calling the bros in. I've worked in prison my whole life. Uh, Criminal justice, that, that goes a hustler. Uh, can you imagine Chance and Mocker talking to one another? <laughs> that was all BS. Uh, come up in the... Well, oh, hell, uh, it's going a little bit quickly. Uh, we go back. Um, come up in the music game. Uh, where are you? When did you host an awards show? 
yeah, I wanted to get to that. I wanted to talk about the fucking Latin Grammys. That would have been good. Uh, looks like someone creeped up. It did, didn't it? Yeah. Um, sorry, so late. Hi, chat. Hi, Lord. Hello. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, let's make sure he's okay. Yeah, so I give him a ring. Let's uh, let's see what happens if I call him. Should we? Uh, let me uh, let me see uh, let me see what's happening here. Two seconds. This this is the height of professionalism uh, right now. Check on him. Here we go. Yep, I'll give him a I'll give him a wee ring. Two seconds. phone is off well oh, terrible I uh, <laughs> the person that on the laptop had an Apple tracker uh, well you know who knows call his secretary <laughs> well I'd, see, I'd like to get a replay on that that um, yeah I'll have to put a, I'll have to put a video out and do a slow-mo uh, on that but uh, I'm I'm kind of assuming now perhaps we uh, we may have lost him. Um, call his assistant. I, d I don't have the assistant's number. I've got his number. Uh, but um, yeah, now live. Oh, I've just got the message to tell me that I'm live. That's that's always good to know, isn't it? Oh man, I was looking. I, I had so much more. I had so much more. But uh, literally, yeah, call his headquarters. Uh, yeah, we probably could give me call him. Yeah, I did call him. Yeah, I did. Um, uh, young. Yeah, let me let me try one more time. I'll call him one more time. I'll put it on uh, on voice again. Now hold up. He didn't block me, as far as I'm aware. As far as I'm aware. Um, no, I can. I'm still ringing through in his number. Uh, I've sent him a wee message on Instagram, uh, and uh, and that's it. You know, it's actually still connected uh, to the um, to the chat, but uh, you know, ran out of minutes. <laughs> Where's Waldo Mocha? Close the laptop and turn off the phone. Yeah. Well then, just as it got interesting now, what do we deduce from that, ladies and gentlemen? What do we deduce from that? That was uh, that was an interesting one. In Mills running shoes. <laughs> yeah, it could be held hostage right now, attacked by alligators. We have no idea. Well, that's <laughs> it. Could be, couldn't it? It could. Well, I I do believe then, and that um, he's watching. Is he watching? Uh, you never know. Maybe he is. Maybe he is watching. But uh, if he is, when well, um, very odd, very odd. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I do think. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a shame. That's a shame. I, um, well, that was good. Oh, thank you very much. I hope that was okay. You know, I was, um, I was getting to the good stuff. You know, I was trying to. I was trying to pace it out and uh, and do something. Um... <laughs> wow, a lot of people in chat. There is a lot of people in chat tonight. I think people have turned up to see the, the mock up, but um, but yeah, no, he's he's done one. Now you can imagine this is going to be on fucking Tracy Trendy, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but um, 
Yeah, well, I guess that's it. What do we do? What do we do? We either hang around here and, uh, and speculate, um, or we uh, or we just move on. Let's call Motel Mo. Yes, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Uh, can you imagine? Uh, he bailed on you after quoting his lyrics. <laughs> his PO turned up, yeah. Motel Mo. Turn up chats. Turn up chat. Uh, um, uh, yes, I, I, I can't really turn it up. There's nothing to hear. But uh, but thank you though. His internet went out. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, uh, have you been back from any inmates from Monday? <laughs> no, we haven't had any responses from those uh, beautiful inmate people. Um, da, 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 da. he silenced your number. Possibly, possibly. We'll give him one more try. Uh, I was following you a week ago. I'm posting this to uh, Love After Look Up Reddit page. Good, there we go. Lovely. Uh, missing. Mocha Black. <laughs> Last seen <laughs> on Internet Cafe in Las Vegas. Yeah, he's on his back porch or something like that with the TV. Uh, you can't do that in this country. Turn up, chat. Obviously, Mocha won't. Good. Uh, what about calling Half Pint? De I'd love that. Could you imagine that, that he would... If he can still talk those veneers in his mouth. Jesus. What the fuck? We're so hot too. I uh, know. Uh, he, <laughs> he's in a hostage situation. Could you imagine? That would do... Uh, well, I'd have the exclusive on that, right? Uh, somebody had to stop him. He was about to be murked on here, so he had to try and fake one. <laughs> the internet is going to eat this up. Good job. Why is Mia? Why is Mia? Uh, sorry, thank you, though. Uh, mocha stop to make a mocha deal. You never know. Uh, thank you, thank you, Gwen. Uh, can't wait to go back and watch this later. I know, I know. I just, you know, uh, God, just when we was getting to the to the good stuff. Uh, yeah, wait for a ransom note for mocha to be delivered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna give him one more try. I'm gonna give him one more try. Uh, and um. We'll, we'll see where we go from that because uh, that was uh, that was disappointing wasn't it Jesus I mean, what did we do there we probably did about what 45 minutes of time that wasn't too bad was it let me just get rid of that shit alright let's go Oh. Well, well then, well, well, well then, he needs to send us a million in Bitcoin to continue, <laughs> yes indeed, everybody chant, yeah, leave a message, I could, um, let me, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll leave a message, yeah, but um, I'm going to have to silence it during the, the number bit, otherwise I'm going to totally dox his number. Um, live and that that's I can't really be doing that that's that's very impolite oh we're ringing Southern California. I have to take another year off now. <laughs> Please leave your message for seven one eight seven. Mr. Mocha, we uh, yes, uh, we we saw you disappear, young sir. So uh, if you would give us a little shout back. Um, let us know you're all right. Uh, if we need to pay some ransom, uh, you need to give us uh, an account. But you know, I've only got a certain amount of money here. You know what I mean? I, I can't be, uh, I can't be paying, <laughs> paying too much. Uh, I could probably take a whip round. I think everybody's got like uh, fifty cents to chuck in. Uh, so, so do please let us know what uh, what happened. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna um, end the stream in a, in a couple of minutes. Um, but uh, if you can, mate, do please, uh, do please let us know. And, uh, you know, have fun, uh, be good, and, um, 
Yes, there you go. Nice one. Cheers there, mate. Bye. There we go. Okay. So, we've left him a wee message. Uh, the Pazos. Uh, who knows? Who knows? But, so that was quite a, quite an interesting one. Uh, perhaps, we'll, perhaps we'll even return for a part two. Uh, I think he's going to be in the... Um, I think he's going to be in the old uh, Jibber Jabber. He'll be on the series on uh, on Friday, Fun and Friday. Uh, so uh, do please, uh, Luke, and scroll up. All right, okay. Uh, I'm scrolling up. Is there something I'm I'm looking for? Uh, I need that footage ASAP. Oh, it's the Pesos. Uh Good afternoon, the Pesos. Uh A pleasure to uh, a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Uh, nice to see you. Uh, my donation for the free market. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, uh, but the Pesos, if you, if you do need that, um, uh, it'll be online in just a second. If you need something even more uh, efficient, um, reach out to me, that's absolutely fine. I, I totally don't mind. Um, you can find my email address in the uh, about section. Uh, so, uh, you know, do that, feel free to do that. Um, I'm gonna make a little move. Um, I think we do we have lost the mocker. Um, again, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Pizzo, if you want to uh, give us a shout, I don't mind uh, uh, giving you uh, giving you what I got. That's absolutely fine. Uh, aside from that, I know, I know. Sorry, I always mess it up. Don't I? I always pretend like I can't say it. P -p 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 I always I always pretend like I can't do it right. But um, uh, Mike and Juju were here. Uh, quite possibly, uh, quite possibly, um, and uh, if they were, well, hello to you as well, you know, uh, a pleasure for anybody to uh, to join us, uh, don't be a liar, okay, <laughs> so, right then my ladies and gentlemen, uh, it has been a pleasure uh, to have you for the evening, as always, uh, I've got a glass of wine that I'm going to finish, and, um, and, uh, and yeah, uh, if, if, uh, if that is, if it is in fact the precise, do feel free to get in contact with me. I pretty completely don't mind. Uh, I can't believe he came on. I know what a, what a good man. Uh, young Vido, check out uh, check out Young Vido's music. It's really good. Uh, see you next week. Thank you very much. He faked like the Etsy records. Uh, we're in here. Uh, my mind is blown. Great job. Uh, so then, where's the dick track, Mike? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if only I would have loved to have seen that. That'd be fun. Uh, have some fun with uh, with old uh, with old Montana Mills. That would be good fun. Right then, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it has been a pleasure, as always, to see you. Uh, good night, Bono. People have said <laughs> Bono. Yeah, someone said that to me before. I look like bloody Bono. Damn it. Uh, we love you. Th oh no, thank you very much. That's incredibly kind of you. Incredibly kind of you. Um, so, ladies and gents, uh, have yourselves a beautiful evening. Um, and as ever, stay beautiful. Love to my three. You take care.